Coming up next, my friend Jose joins me again. Welcome, Jose. He's back in town visiting, and we're going to do our top four jasmine fragrances. Jasmine, one of the most popular floral notes in perfumery, and we're going to pick out ones that we think are excellent and good that you should try out. So stay tuned. It's coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. And as you can see from the introduction, I've got my friend Jose who is uh, back in town here in Miami. He's a pilot, he flies all over the world. He's back here visiting and whenever he comes, we have a great time, you know, just talking everything fragrance. In fact, I'm gonna hold the microphone up so whenever whoever's talking okay. can, it makes it easier. Um, we were actually just trying a bunch that you had kind of picked up in some of his travels to New York. And while we're talking, he was actually smelling some of the fragrances that I'm working on myself. Uh, I, I really trust his nose and his, uh, you know, kind of reactions. And so he was mentioning on one of my fragrances that he really smelled jasmine. Mm -hmm. And it reminded him almost of like of a Creation E vibe. And that prompted me to think, you know, let's do a jasmine video. Let's pick some of our favorite ones, especially because it's not really one of your favorite notes. And right. that, that's what is always intriguing to me to find fragrances you know, that maybe is not something we're naturally drawn to, yeah. right? Yeah, it's something that like, I'd, initially I would have never purchased a, 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 a fragrance that I smelled too much jasmine in. Yeah. But as my nose has matured, I definitely like, I find that it's, it's actually works really well on my skin and I've gotten compliments on a few, like the ones that I'm, we're gonna talk ah, about here. Cool. So without further ado, let's get right into this. We've each picked two. Again, these are gonna be ones that I think typically you're not going to see talked about a lot. So these are ones that you really want to kind of explore, try out, maybe get some samples because we're not going to steer you wrong. We're going to give you some really good uh, tips here or advice. So yeah, yeah. Why, don't you, why don't you pull it out? Pull All out right. the first one and we'll see what we got. So we'll start with Fars. Ah, okay. So let me hold this up here just so you guys can see. That is Fars from Serjoff. Look at that really cool deep red, almost like... Actually, it's not really. It's almost like a maroon, like a like, maroon, like a brownish. Yeah, almost brownish. like booze, like a like a dark scotch or something. Yeah. Yeah, I actually recently purchased this one um, within the last month. So some of the notes, just to mention, obviously we talked about jasmine, uh, some Italian bergamot, some lavender. I think I catch that. It's because it has a calming uh, effect on me. Uh, sandalwood. Let's see. Oh, geranium. I love geranium in, in, in fragrances, and I think that's something that this this is a very Fresh. We talked about earlier. You're, you're not really getting that that dirty jasmine out of this. Yeah. Um, it's clean. Yeah. That, then that geranium I'm getting right at the top yeah. too. And this is yeah one of those cleaner jasmines. Uh, and it, and I just smell it. It's, yeah. it's really refreshing. It's yeah. good. It's, I would say actually as I smell this, the bottle is kind of dark, but I yeah. don't really. This is kind of like, a, I think I, I love wearing, I'm wearing it right now during this kind of warmer as we're transitioning into summer. Cause it has that, you, you talked about Creation E from Roja. It doesn't smell like it, but right. I think I get the same kind of like effervescent vibe mm -hmm. from this, you know? Yeah, Creation E always reminds me almost, almost of like a rum and coke with that kind of bubbliness from the soda or that like effervescence. And, yeah. and I'm getting a similar vibe. So I don't know if it's the jasmine note, but this is one that truly under the radar for Serjov because I don't hear it talked about a lot. I'm glad you picked it because I hadn't worn it in a while and it yeah. really is nice. Give it a try. Uh, this is one that I spray on quite a bit, you know, 20, 25, because yeah. it, I just feel like it's so well blended. It's not offensive. Yeah. It's not like screaming, but yeah. it's so good. I love Excellent. it. Excellent. Excellent. Good, good choice. So I'm going to go now with, I've picked two and the first one I'm going to show you is one of the newest ones from Imaginary Authors and this is Fox in the flower bed if you guys can see it, it's kind of bright i don't know if you can i'll put the the label on the thing on the uh video here but fox in the flower bed uh one of the newest ones from imaginary authors you know really if you don't know this house i've talked about it a lot it's an american niche house one of the few truly american niche houses which is cool um and 50 milliliters 95 dollars so you can get a really good niche fragrance for $100, especially for those, you're, you know, budgets are tight. I understand money's really tight nowadays. Um, or maybe you're just starting your niche journey. Check out this house. But the reason why I picked this one is, this is, you know, just to kind of, actually hold yeah. on for a second. I want to read the, the notes on this to you because 
This has got obviously a very jasmine-centric fragrance, but then you have tulips, frankincense, which is incense, wildflower honey, pink peppercorns, silver thistle, and then alpine air. The last note that they list on all their fragrances is a made-up mythical note that corresponds to the story they're trying to tell. This one, though, this is not alpine air to me. This is a very, smell that one. This is animalic jasmine. And I know you're probably thinking, if you've not heard me talk about this, jasmine, animalic, I don't get it. Jasmine is a white flower. White flowers typically have a high concentration of an element called indole. I-N-D-O-L-E. Indoles have a really animalic smell to it. So this is a jasmine that is going to be heavy on the indoles, heavy on the animalic note. It's sweet. It's floral. Uh, it's almost got that honey kind of dripping oh, element, yes, oozing. Yeah. Really, really great fragrance that I don't know how many people have really given this one a try yet. Um, I, I, I feel that it should be way more popular um, than maybe it is. This smells really clean to me. I know you're, yeah. yes, the animalic is So you're getting, a lot of, you're getting a lot of what they're, we're trying to do here because it's got tulips, it's got the silver thistle, um, the pink peppercorn, which can, to me, be more on, on a, the cleaner side. You know, the word that comes to mind, I'm thinking, is just soapy. I feel yeah. like I'm, I'm clean. I washed, washed oh, my yeah, hands. Yeah. I walked out of the, you know. So, yeah, it yeah. does have that animalic. And it does, you know, I think the picture is very uh, appropriate. The, the, the flower bed. Yeah. I get that vibe that I'm just surrounded by a lot of flowers. Despite the fact that, yeah, there is that, you said the indolic smell, right? Yeah, yeah. The indolic smell. The indol and again, it's, it's not there. overpowering. It's, you're, you're, no. not gonna, you're not going to feel like you're smelling castorium or ambergris or you know some of the more really truly uh animalic notes but if you like something that's a little bit sexier this has that kind of a little bit of that sexy animalic note to this it this is definitely outside of my comfort zone and i'll, yeah. I'll have to wear it and yeah. give it a chance you yeah know? i'll try it's not it something that comes that i would be like oh yeah i gotta grab this yeah, you yeah. know yeah but as i said in the last video it's like you never know until you give it a, you got to put it on your skin and see what happens you gotta try it so that's what we're here for all right let's go to your next let's go to your next one all right so this one's uh bdk parfum it's a uh, passe soie so you he's gonna say it much better than me but passe soie he's in france a lot or, or french-speaking countries i know like belgium uh passe soie from bdk parfums and let's hear why you picked it okay so First time I smelled this was actually um, Josie did a uh, like a an online thing where she's Josie from Contessence. Yeah. Okay. And um, I smelled it initially. I don't really like jasmine naturally, right? Especially back then. And I was like, I could. There was a side of like three fourths of this I love, but there was just this this aspect of it that I didn't like. But I gave it a chance, and um, last year. I actually sprayed it on in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, and it was hot. Miami was hot, mm -hmm. and I thought it wasn't going to get any hotter. And I went to Charlotte, and it was blazing hot. And I put this on, and let me tell you, in the heat, this thing is amazing on my skin. Absolutely amazing. That's when I fell in love with it. Um, wow. It's juicy. Um, you do have that kind of mm. like that skanky jasmine a little bit, but it's not too much. So this, I, I will, with full disclosure, admit that I, you know, I've only smelled this maybe once before, and I've never worn it on my skin. Oh, so I'm cheese. kind of a passe soir virgin, if you, if <laughs> we must tonight. say. Um, and I really like this because this has got like a nice fruity vibe to it. It's very fruity. I, I you know, I, I could see where a lot of people who like that kind of fruity, like herba pura, yes. uh, or you know, maybe um, heroin type from. Uh, uh, Bodicea from Bodicea, yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, it's got that, but you do have that little Ooh. bit of that, that kind of indolic, animalic jasmine going there. Not as strong, as I would say, as the fox no. in the flower bed, but I like this. I like that fruitiness to it. It's, and it's, this is a compliment getter right here, and it's going to project. Um, and I know I said that I fell in love with it in the heat, the extreme heat, yeah. but I also, it just works year round. This is good. You've got, I really. This is one that I highly, highly recommend. If you're getting into niche fragrance, I, I think, um, and jazz, and especially if you like jasmine. If you don't like jasmine, get, you know, first smell it, obviously, because yeah. you may not like, like I didn't like that note in the beginning, but I've gotten used to it. And it's still to this day, like sometimes when I put it on, so you know how your nose is different. One day you like something yeah. more than that. 
sometimes that jasmine hits me and I'm like, ooh, that was strong. Yeah. But once it calms down, it's beautiful. It's it's mouth water. Stretch your nose. Stretch your nose. Try something different and try that. And yeah. that leaves me with my final pick, which is Jasmine de Minui. Jasmine de Minui. This is from, of course, Veronique Gabay. Um, and this, to me, epitomizes the opposite of Fox and the Flower Bed. I wanted to give people kind of two um, really divergent, almost opposite end of the spectrum of the jasmine family. This is not the endolic uh, animalic. This is the light, airy, freshy. This is like something you would wear in the Mediterranean. It's, it's, it's reminiscent of an ocean breeze. It's just fun. It's a... Uh, yeah, light, it's almost kind of, um, I don't want to say skin smelling, but it's, it's just got a different, totally different jasmine. You would almost not know that these two fragrances are, that have, have the same really main note that they're built around. Because these two fragrances I picked and the ones you have, they're, they're really based on the jasmine note. So, you know, Veronique, everything she does is really... A lot of these fragrances are heavily influenced by her time in the Mediterranean and the ocean breezes and the flowers and the trees and the, and the smell. Yes. And yes. this one to me, and it's one of the ones, again, that's, that's very, um, well, it's under the radar. It's not talked about as some yeah, of her other I, ones. I honestly, I haven't given this one a chance, so it yeah. is under the radar. Um, this one, when I smelled it, made me think of Puerto Rico. Oh, there you it go. Made me think All right. It. So it had that effect. Yeah, yeah. Just, kind of beach, kind beach of queen. you know, Caribbean, Mediterranean, you know, similar vibe there. Almost like a, am I, I'm picking up like a sun tanning type vibe. Yeah, like, cool. yeah. Cool. This is good, and I do smell the jasmine. I do, but this is a jasmine that I don't think is challenging at all. This is, this is good. All right. First time I smelled it, right so here. I, I, I think we, there we go. So again, he's a uh, Jasmine de Minuit virgin, like yeah, I was yeah, with yeah, the, yeah. with the, 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 well, the passe soir, essentially. So yeah, we, hopefully you'll try it today. Put yeah, it yeah. on, see how it works for him the rest of the day, and he'll give me feedback on uh, what he likes, and I'll put it on the passe soir and see how I like it since I've never really put it on yeah, my you skin. Try it. You got to try it. <laughs> Jose, thank you. Appreciate it as Thanks always. Great me. video. Always love your input and, and your your insights and always got great stuff to talk about and uh guys i'll be back soon with another video and look whenever he's back in town we'll do more of them because it's always fun yeah thanks, thanks so uh all right guys all right. thanks for watching and thanks for your support and i'll be back soon peace love and perfumes